What's up, everyone, and he hello and welcome to another special episode of RG Pulse, where we've got another brand new product launch that was just Dude, unveiled. It's a, bu it's a busy week. It is. It is. There's a lot going on. I mean, it's a busy month. April 1st, April Fool's Day. We kind of tease the world with the ROG it's ally, true. and it is real. It's yes, it's real. We've used it. And now, um, <laughs> I mean, we had the the new acronym edition of the Z13. And yep, that's true. We launched that. Which, by the way, that's available to buy on Amazon right now, the acronym okay. edition. So you sure. guys can head over to Amazon and you can buy the Z13 acronym. And yeah, then the 4070 was cards. yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, four different versions that we are making here at Asus. And um, this is an item that a lot of people have been asking for and are very excited about. It's the ROG Phone 7 it, here at last. I feel like people have been asking me about the ROG Phone 7 since like the ROG Phone 6 launch. Roughly three You're weeks. like, so when does the 7, seven launch? And I was like, the, the 6 just launched. What are you talking about? I, 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 yeah, I think the the phone culture is is very unique in that like it's always about what's next i yeah. mean pcs are that way too but a lot of people buy a pc and they're set for four or five maybe maybe longer well, four or five years the generations with a lot of pc components is bigger right like we usually have True. a few years when between new graphics cards releasing and things like that we get new processors but like yeah phones every year like clockwork new phones come out and it's always like all right let's get the latest and greatest let's trade in the old one for the new one there's much more of that like upgrade upgrade every year culture hmm. we're already getting some questions in chat and i don't even know if we have the answers to them i believe the answer to this is yes is the air active 7 compatible with the 6 pro and i i'm fairly certain that i don't have an answer but to. we we might have to double back and, and get you a finite answer you can join our discord um it's it's just rog.gg slash join discord if you want to join us there um and ask the question there and we can we can find out for you exactly but i did get hands-on with the new air active cooler we'll talk a little bit more about that soon but yeah, I, I just love this two-tone design of the phone. I mean, I think the ROG phone has always had a great aesthetic that they've nailed, uh, especially with ROG Vision, but... I, I like this too, though. And it's interesting because we were talking about the new Dual 4070s yesterday, and this has like a very... It has that similar transparent... Like, this is a thing we're doing now. So it's got this cool slash on the back, and the top half is transparent. You can kind of see to the inside or like to the, you know, these kind of cybernetic uh designs uh underneath and then on the other side you've got that um aura rgb logo with a ton of different colors and kind of lighting patterns that you can play with uh in in armory crate on your phone um so yeah it's a really cool design phantom black and storm white are the two colors for the rg phone 7 and then Storm the rg7 white. ultimate <laughs> Storm the rg phone 7 ultimate which is that one you see in the middle we'll talk about that in a minute that one uh just comes in white so the exciting thing, the first exciting thing, there are many exciting things about these phones. The first exciting thing is that uh, the ROG Phone 7 series comes with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 uh, system on a chip. So this is 15% faster CPU performance than the ROG Phone 6 last generation, 20% faster GPU performance than last gen. And not only is it more performant, but it's also more efficient. So we've got 15% better power efficiency um, which means that for every frame it's pumping out, it's going to drain less battery than the last generation, which is really nice because as we all know, phones are not something you, you can plug it in and play, but the best part is that it's always with you. You can play it wherever you go, but the RG phone is also designed to be played when plugged in because it does have that extra USB-C port on the side for landscape play, which is always a nice feature to have. Uh, it's one of a kind like it's such a game changer especially because i do play a fair number of landscape games and um yeah I i've bent many uh usb cables in the past <laughs> trying to find a comfortable <laughs> way to game with it plugged it's in. it's hard yeah you can't really if you're plugged in it's hard to hold the phone landscape i gotta ask jake did you play vampire survivors on your phone at all i have not no Oh, I was going to ask you if you played Portrait or Landscape, because you can do it either way. Wait, really? Oh, that's actually kind of yeah. cool. I'd probably want to play Landscape, though. I think in Vampire I play Survivors. Portrait, but like I, I might switch to Landscape. I it don't know why I haven't tried it, Landscape yet. It's actually probably yeah, that's better. actually that's weird. I, <laughs> I, playing Portrait sounds odd to me, but hey, to each their own. I mean, it depends. I mean, you can play one-handed Portrait, which is nice, but I'm rarely that's, just playing it one-handed. This video so. doesn't want a full screen on me, but that's okay. It's um, all good. 
Uh, we did have the event, the launch event for this product earlier today, you guys. You can also yeah. go check that out on Twitch and YouTube. Um, we're just here to kind of rap about it today and kind of talk about what we're excited about um, and uh, kind of go over it all. So, yeah, go, keep going through the specs. We got six up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of UFS 4.0 ROM, which is really, really fast storage. So that's going to be really nice in terms of uh, cutting down on things like loading time and whatnot um and that's that's a decent amount of storage for you to pack on as many games as you want onto that phone which is is always nice um we have our usual our x mode which kind of boosts the clock speeds of the cpu and gpu but but does more than that it also optimizes uh cpu and gpu usage based on the game that you're playing so we have a database of games that we actually are, are regularly updating um to kind of say like okay if we want to avoid you know, throttling or something like that in this game. Here's the optimal like CPU and GPU usage for this particular title. Um, so you want to turn that X mode on before you start gaming because that's a really unique feature. I kind of yeah. dig that. That's a I'm, I I like that we went beyond just packing it with hardware and we're like, it's it's got those optimized settings for any game that you might want to play uh, as long as it's one of those popular titles. And of course, it comes with Wi-Fi seven because if you're gonna play online games or as I've found, if you're going to stream games, if you want to like stream with Xbox Game Pass games to your phone, which is awesome, uh, you want a good Wi-Fi chip in there. I have this. I have the ROG Phone 5S as my work phone, and I have an old, an old Android phone as my personal phone. And the difference between streaming on them is remarkable. And I was shocked. And it's it's got to be because of that Wi-Fi chip. The Wi-Fi chip on the ROG phone is so much better um, that it, it it's much more consistent with a lot fewer like drops and, and like fuzzies and stuff like that. It's funny. Recently, so. I've been doing more um, cloud gaming it, it just as a whole. And um, if you're playing over wireless on a handheld device, having Wi-Fi 6 or greater is basically mm -hmm. a must at this point because the gaming experience is just so much different. So if you're at home well, and you're a mobile gamer and you're actively playing these, you know, these kinds of games, you could be missing out if you don't have Wi-Fi 6 or greater. Especially if you have a lot of other devices on your home network or if you're in an apartment building with a lot of other Wi-Fi networks around you. Yeah. Um, Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E do a lot to kind of circumvent a lot of that congestion, which you know, in the age of smart home devices and like why I have a Wi-Fi vacuum and like a, I, I just Wi-Fi crap all over the place. Right. Uh, that's a big deal for sure. Um, this will be a, a U.S. frequency compatible phone. Yes. Oh, good. I didn't and, actually know the answer to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, in terms of fully, like all networks, I know that's when I spoke. Depends on networks. Yeah. I, when I spoke to headquarters, I know that they were in discussions with a broader scope than they ever have before in the past. Um, cool. so, but yeah, it's going to be more compatible than ever. Maybe, maybe fully. I do not know the exact answer though. So for a lot of those specifics in terms of pricing availability and network compatibility, we don't have, um, definitive info to share on all of that just yet, I yeah. believe, but, but stay tuned. Um, right now we've mostly announced what it's going to be, and we'll have a little bit more of those, those specific details for specific regions as we get closer. So all of that uh all of that power inside this phone is made possible by our GameCool 7 system. Now I think that, Jake on the page you're on there should be an exploded view of this if you can find it because it is awesome. So we've got uh, it's going to be past this. So we've got a boron nitride thermal compound. Here it is. Yeah. And then that CPU is kind of sandwiched between these two different layers. On the one side we have our new rapid cycle vapor chamber and on the other side we've got a reshaped uh, graphite sheet so it's kind of like sandwiched in between those um the vapor chamber is really cool i believe there's a graphic of that below this we've kind of reconfigured the inside of the vapor chamber with these like these little nubs with like a trident shape uh that seriously improves the the heat circulation inside that vapor chamber to keep that cpu cool when you're gaming especially for uh longer than you know five or 10 minutes. That's where that heat starts to build up. And you I mean, really need look that, at this that number up to 168% improved. That's a big improvement. Efficiency. That's, I mean, this thing has had such a monstrous impact on the cooling for this phone. 
you guys don't yeah. understand how big of an upgrade this is for the RV now, phone. All that said, if you're going to be playing for hours on end and you want the best cooling and thus the best performance possible, we've got, as always, the Aero Active Cooler. This year we have our Aero Active Cooler 7, which is our brand new version. Now, for those of you who don't know or don't remember this, this is an active cooler that you can attach to the back of your phone. It goes right over where that chip is, okay? This uses AI-powered thermoelectric cooling to, to keep the device as cool as possible. And new for this year, it's got something extra special inside. Jake, you've actually used it. Do you want to tell them about it? The subwoofer? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a subwoofer. And okay. let me tell you, like, this thing sounds better than most laptops when you when you turn it on. Like, it's, you know, obviously a phone speaker size is much smaller than a laptop speaker size. But you bring that base in with the subwoofer built into the AirActive cooler, and it's impressive. Um, we watched some movie trailers when we were in, in Taiwan. Oh, really? This, and it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was Dude, really Dude, that's impressive. awesome. There's some other really neat things about it, though. This thing is so capable of cooling your... your. You mentioned that it has AI systems in it. It's so capable of yeah. cooling that it actually has to not cool it too much. They actually had some initial problems in testing where it was actually making the device too cold, where um, they actually... So it has to kind of throttle itself and slow down because it might cool too much. Um, it has the, the aux port on the bottom, which is great because obviously you're utilizing that USB-C and then you have the aux cable to go on the bottom as well with it. Not all the versions have had that aux cable. And this version of it also blows air on the front of the screen because when you think about cooling the chip, you want to cool it from both sides. So it's also cooling mm -hmm. on the screen side, just a gentle breeze that it's blowing down towards your, your screen. But it's an impressive piece of hardware. That is super sure. cool. Of course, if you aren't using the, I mean, so that's really cool because you basically have a little 2.1 like mini theater system in your hands. Pretty much, if, yeah. Of course, you don't want to bother the people next to you on the bus uh, and you're playing in more <laughs> of a public place. We, we've also built in, uh, you know, low latency Bluetooth with Aptex adaptive codec so you can like use our. Cetra True Wireless earbuds, yep. um, or of course, plug in a wired pair with that headphone jack because, yes, we still have the headphone jack. Not of too many phones do. do anymore, but yeah, we do. I know. I know. So yeah, we don't we don't mess around when it comes to audio there. And that that low latency audio from the new Cetra True Wireless earbuds is is quite good. So if you can't make use of that subwoofer, you can at least make use of our awesome, awesome earbuds. The display is kind of the other really big has always been the really big feature of the the rg phone if you ask me um we've got a 6.7 inch uh, amoled display on here that goes up to 165 hertz not 100 hertz not 144 hertz, 165 hertz for super super smooth motion and a 720 hertz touch sampling rate um so it's going to be really really um sensitive it's gonna be really responsive when you're swiping and, and using touch controls and moving around stuff like that it's also got 1500 nits of peak brightness so this thing can handle hdr content like a friggin champ yeah. and remember it's an oled so pure black and 1500 nits of brightness like you could watch a movie on this thing and it would look better than a lot of tvs probably, i need one right yeah i know me too um and of course, it's using Corning's new Gorilla Glass Victus, which is thinner and stronger and more scratch resistant than anything that Corning has produced thus far. So you know that that display is going to be killer. Dude, X Milky Eye says, when are we going to see a 240 hertz ROG phone? Good question. One day. Yeah. You know, it, that's the interesting thing about pushing the refresh rate further and further and further because we actually didn't jump in this generation. Last year's um, RG phone was also 165, and that's not something that we really focused on because the number of games that actually are even allowing you to hit 165 is still very minimal. So I think a lot of our, our you know, our engineering into this next model of the phone was less focused on the frame rate and more focused on the quality, you know, the, the brightness and, and everything else with the phone. Um, cause yeah, the libraries that, that hit yeah, one... developers aren't keeping up. Okay. Where, where are other places that we right. can optimize the experience? Because that's like fully optimized at this point until software starts to catch up a little and bit. We're going to, we're going to have more and more games come out that support higher refresh, right? But even games like, oh, like, yeah. Mar like Marvel snap is the phone game I play the most. Even their desktop client is capped at 60 FPS. It's really weird. It's just just this kind of like, why, why not 120, right? I mean, I get it. You guys are worried about maybe more battery drain, but let the user have 
what they want. There's no reason they can't enable that on their end. Um, yeah, Anyways. yeah, I, and a lot of a lot of games have that. I think like uh, I think Rocket League, the Rocket League mobile game that I personally love, has has an option to boost the frame rate if you want, or you can cap it for better battery life and things like that. It, it it's nice to have those options, but of course, those things take development time, and you know, developers got to keep up. Okay, the the final thing that that really to me, like so far, all of this is awesome, and. It, all of it contributes to a killer gaming experience, but it also just contributes to a killer phone experience, right? Like, it, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's an ultra-powerful phone. The thing that, to me, takes it to the next level and makes it the quintessential gaming phone on the planet are some of these control features, right? So we've got these uh, ultrasonic sensors on the top that we call air triggers that basically, you know... I'm going I'm to pull out my 5S here. Hopefully, uh, you know, that's kosher. We don't have a 7 to show off yet. Um, but so that way, if you're holding the phone like this, you, I'm holding it the wrong way, you got these sensors on the top, and you can map these little triggers to any of the kind of on-screen buttons for the game that you're playing. And you can do that manually. So it's not like the, the game doesn't have to support the air triggers. You can manually map that to the buttons on screen, and in fact, with uh, these latest air triggers, uh, you have all kinds of different gestures that you can do. Right? It's not just tapping them; you can also do Correct. swipes and holds and all kinds of things like that. So you can customize all kinds of different actions to just these fingers on the top of your phone, um, which gives you a little bit more comfortable control over some of your games. Yeah, no, this is a really cool evolution of the uh, the control function. It is. And I got to tell you, though, the thing that's even more exciting or or equally exciting to me, I guess, with this new phone is we also have gyroscope aiming, right? Okay. Uh, and we have this vibration mapping feature. So it, when you're using touch controls, you don't get the same, like, uh, physical, like, tactile feedback that you do when you're pressing physical buttons, right? So uh, with this new vibration mapping feature, you can actually tell the phone where the touch buttons are in the game you're playing and it will like give you a little bit of haptic feedback when you press the button so it feels a little bit more like you've got that you've got that tactile sensation uh like more akin to what you would have with a physical controller which is really really cool Uh, i i love the addition of that that's really really clever uh way to work with touch controls in my opinion yeah no that's really smart just cool engineering yep uh the battery is also, I love the way that we've done the batteries on these phones. We've got um, 600, six, sorry. Yeah, before we jump into battery, just some other features here. Like, you know, if you're if you're playing a lot of games um, on your phone and, 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 and you want to uh, actually capture some of your footage, it's going to intelligently, like, give you some of these highlights, like deaths, victories, kills, stuff like that. It's kind of intelligently reading these moments and helping you clip out your best moments from your match you played. Really, just some cool features. Again, this is a gaming phone. This is made for gamers. And mm-hmm. all the software and stuff that's bundled with it is geared towards, you know, you just being a gamer, but also you sharing your favorite gaming moments. Straight up. But yeah, we talked Wi-Fi about Wi-Fi 7, 7. Of course. Splash resistant. IP54. Yeah. Battery. Here's the battery. Yeah. yeah. So 6,000 milliamps of capacity, but it's split in two. Um, and we've done this with a few ROG phones in the past. So those of you who are familiar with the ROG phone will already know this, but it's one of my favorite features because when you split the battery in two like this, you get more even charging with uh, better heat dissipation and, and better battery health overall because you're not just charging this one cell over and over again. Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know, We all know that when you charge batteries over and over again, they lose a bit of their life over time. This kind of helps prevent against uh, that, that wear and tear on the battery, which is really nice. Um, and of course you have that second charging point for landscape play, like we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is just, it's intelligent battery design, kept it pretty much the same as last generation. Um, no need to change it. Camera, small improvements overall. I don't know if they Triple even changed. camera on the back. Yeah. Maybe it was uh, a little bit better off last gen. Um, I don't remember. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, every, every, every year the cameras just get a little bit better, That's right? But we're at the point where it. phone cameras are so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you're actually on the ultimate page. So I, I scroll back up and let's take a look because I've been talking about the, all of the things that we've talked about so far apply to both the ROG Phone 7 and the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate. The ROG Phone 7 Ultimate has a few exclusive features though, okay? So uh, you can see in this picture, you've got this little two-inch OLED display 
on the rear of the phone. Uh, Wait, we call this ROG Vision. Yep. It's... And it, it think you can think of it kind of like the enemy matrix on our other devices or like the OLED display on our ROG is off keyboard where you can add custom animations to it, right? Or some of our pre-baked in animations and show like useful information. So if you have your phone face down on your desk, you can see notifications coming. You can see its charging status. Yeah. Um, and stuff like that. Or when you're playing a game, it can show a custom animation and you know, you, everyone knows that you're playing a game on your ROG phone. It's, it's really, really sharp. It's a cool extra little feature if you want to go with the ultimate version of the phone. Uh, the other exclusive feature here on the RG Phone 7 Ultimate is the Aeroactive Portal, mm -hmm. which is this little trap door on the side of the phone for when you attach that Aeroactive Cooler. Remember that uh, cooler slash subwoofer we were talking about? If you attach the Aeroactive Cooler uh, to the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate, you have this little portal that opens up. You can see this here in this animation. This is not on the yeah. ROG Phone 7, just the Ultimate, where you actually are, are allowing more fresh air from that cooler straight in and out of the device, uh, which is going to cool that CPU better and faster than on the standard ROG Phone 7. Which yeah, is, think... man, that's cool. It's it's Yeah, it's a very cool thing, and... Um, frankly, it doesn't change the water resistance of the phone or, or anything. And it's something yeah, that they're both IP 554. Yeah. It only opens up when you're attaching it actually for this mode, it'll open up automatically. There is a way to like, uh, go into the settings and open it manually for cleaning. If you wanted to clean it out for dust or anything, but, but you can't just like pry it open with your, no, finger. it's, this is, this is latched. From the phone. Yeah. This is mechanically like locked. Um, and your phone can release the lock, but it's not. Which is good. Something That's that very you're just smart. Gonna, yeah, yeah. It's, it's you a don't want cool something thing. like that just opening in your pocket and collecting dust. Like yeah. they thought of, they thought of everything. So we've got uh, two variants. Well, okay, sorry, two variants of the uh, the ROG phone, I believe. So we've got 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage for 999 euro. And that includes VAT. So if you're in another country that doesn't include sales tax, you can kind of figure that out. Uh, 16 gig, And then we have a 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, with 512 gigabytes of storage for uh, 11.99 euros. Now, I'm now looking at this, and I did not mark, because <laughs> I'm a dummy, uh, whether those are both prices for just the ROG Phone 7, or is that the ultimate as well? Um, mm. This is... I'm, I'm going I'm to look this up to double check. But... Uh, the, the last thing that kind of goes along with that is, again, we'll have more information on pricing and availability and all of that stuff for different regions. Um, it's going to vary. Yep. It's going to vary. So especially, like I said, if your country doesn't include sales tax and things like that, so just sit tight. Um, the other thing that, okay. Yeah. So this is just the ROG phone seven. I don't know if we had pricing on the, I don't know if we announced pricing for the ultimate. Probably not. So we may have to stay tuned for that. Uh, the, the last thing that I think is really important to mention, and we've had some people ask about it, is that we are committing to two major OS updates for the ROG Phone 7 series uh, and four years of security updates. So you know this thing isn't going to be outdated and left behind like immediately after you buy it, right? It's going to get updates. We're going to keep it uh, updated, especially those security updates can keep it going longer. I'm actually, my personal phone is running a, a couple years version of Android couple years old version of Android at this point, but I'm still getting security updates, which is like what I care about the most, right? So you know that the ROG 7 phone is going to be with you for the long haul. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're super excited to, or su hopefully we can get our hands on one and show it off. But um, today we're just excited to share the news with you guys and, and kind of talk it out. Um, but we'll have more soon coming about availability and pricing. Yeah. Another gorgeous product. I feel like we've just had announcement after announcement recently, but very excited I know. for this to be in the wild. Got to save up my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got lots of things coming down the pipe. But yeah, it's, so, it's, it's endless, it feels like. But it's it good. Is. That's good that's and exciting stuff. That's the fun part. If it ended, I'd be sad. But yeah, guys, if you have any further questions, we can try to answer them on Discord. It's rng.gg slash join Discord if you'd like to ask more there. We'll do our best. We'll have to do to... another Q&A stream soon. Yeah, I think we'll we'll probably get another Q&A stream in. You know, I, I want to say this month, but this month is already looking 
jam packed. We're pretty, we're, we're pretty booked. We're, we're, maybe we're, yeah. in May. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably in May. So we'll look forward to doing a Q and A where we can really dive in and get all your guys' questions answered. Um, but as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. That's going to do it here for this uh, another another product launch episode of RG Pulse. Till next time, GGs. Take care.